Lubbock, United Supermarks. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm playing in Texas. This is what the Rangers' home opener will look like. Packed to the gills. Now the starting group for the visitors. Oh, he missed the dunk. Here's Bolden, defended by Booker. Bolden can't get it to go. And it's off from three point range. Rock Civic. Pass to Barber. Whips it up from 17. What? Barber's usually good at those shots. An easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. On the top of the key. Denied for the third time. He's 0 for 3. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. And there's the pass to Bolden. What? No good from outside. Defensively, it's Crash. hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. Booker looking around. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. I, I mean, I like the call. Lock and the foul. defense was just there a little late. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half going. Yeah. Drops in the tray. And good to get him going. Take that, early. Texas. Should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Knocked away. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Oh, fuck. Let's give it to Bennett. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. There's the triple. He's off on that one. Just a little off. That lies at you. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Bolden takes it up the court. Working hard, beating the third. Rock seven. He does this right hand and night out. Here's Dragosevich. Here's Bolden. Oh. And that's just great work here. Grab. the shooter space and then go and corral that back door. To the left wing. There's the three. Barber pulls it in. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Now here's Booker. It's good. He's oh. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Bolden. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Norris. He can't get that one. No way. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. <laughs> Dragosevich. Yes, put in the reinforcements. Number zero, Starsky Canty. It's in there now. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. This is it to Goodwin. Here's Eubanks. Just five on the clock. Floats one. Barber pulls it in. Barber's got four rebounds now tonight. And that one is There's Canty. Starsky Canty. On the back end. Of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. 
Here's Eubanks. Pass to Townsend. The pass to Eubanks. Shoots it. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. What are we going to do here? Pass to Bolden. To the wing right side. Pulls up. High post. Basket good. Anti. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on him. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Passes it to Townsend. Four, three, two, one. No points in the game yet for him. Off the mark and a bad shot there. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. That's good planning, and that's good execution. And that's a great look. Pass to Townsend. Dude, I need a PS5 so I can play MLB The Show. Oh! Yes, Canty. Why did he stop? The they don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out step by step. Five, valuing four, each possession. Three, two, one. No good on the last second attempt there. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Low scoring quarter, but West Virginia is still up. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? You can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this. Yes, what they do, they Brings take up away the, the court. things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping Johnson. them out of sync. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready uh, to go for the oh. start of the second quarter. Davis is out there with Adams. Then it's Thomas. And he will go to the line. In at the point. First one falls for So he gets them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't Down get lead, 13 4. Excellent job from the line. And the pass to Adams. Here's Eubanks. Oh, shit. Stolen. And here comes the break. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Basketball about one minute played so far. Davis, the pass to Eubanks. Seven. Five Seven. to shoot. Five. Out fast, Thomas. Adams. That's in oh. Thomas with the assist. Adams has got his first points of the game. Right wing. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. He's guarded by Thomas. Just five to shoot. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Pass to Eubank. Back to Thomas. Passes it to Eubank. I'm deep. And they'll do it. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Dragicevic defended by Booker. Here's Johnson. It's hauled in by Adams. 
They need a bucket in a big way here to regain. Ah. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Dragasevich. No good off the back of the rim. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Booker with oh, no one around. And a miss there on the triple. Booker Fortunate there. The missed. Four attempts from the floor tonight. Let's it go from 14. And yes. And one for Latore. Chance here for him. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put back. Three point play. Let's switch in our leads 18 9. They trail by nine points. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Are you kidding me? And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. To the right side. Here's Dragasevich. Ah. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Here's Booker. The way up off target. Oh, I can't he? Effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, let it find another option. Here's the three. A three-pointer is right on target. I'll take it. We know he has the range, and we know he has the attack mindset. On here's up a double digits. Shepard with the ball. Fires from deep. Will not drop. Still looking for his groove. He's one of six so far from the floor. Brodkicevich defended by Booker. Deflects the pass oh. and stolen by Booker. Fast break. Here we go. The putback. Damn it. Good on the putback. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Bolden back in the game. There we go. The dragon, Dragosevich. It's a ten point game. Look around side. One fifteen left in the first half of the game. Off the mark there with the three point shot. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch, but right now, he's hurting the team. Bolden can't get it to go. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at his finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Booker. He's again. Oh, and he pops <laughs> it off the glass. Wow. Oh, well, indeed. Situation trying to get a two for one. Absolutely, but at the same time, you want to get a good shot. From about 16, they get a bet. It's the flick. What? And he's able to get it back. And that's <laughs> good, Barber. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. Now here's Booker. On the clock, sweet move, and the oh. up and they repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Bolden, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the visible 25 15. West Virginia with the lead, score at halftime. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Checking out the visiting team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Their inaccuracy from behind the offense is brutal. Shot selection, I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running, you could scrap that. They need to get back to the base. Pound it inside, more pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. So Canty with 10, Dragicevic with 5, Norris with 3, Latori with 3. Had a uh, two pieces of sourdough bread or snack. Hopefully that was fine for my diet. Let's get back into things. Score is West Virginia 25, Texas Tech a measly 15. Here we go. This game's still to play. So it's the visitors now. Now the pass to North. Yes. Connects from three point range. Money. Along the perimeter. Just Wait, that was a three point. Hold up. I'm getting a lot of these uh generous calls. Uh Alright, look at this. Look at this. <gasps> they called that a three! Insane, man! Put this image in the Hall of Fame. I have a theory that these uh, modded courts are not uh, lined up right. But it's weird because there's a there should be a template for every court. West Virginia bench outscoring Texas Tech bench by 11. That's because all these players are bosses. Bolden. Oh! How about that? Here's Bolden, and they pick up two. Bolden's got his second basket of the game. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen 
tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Barber pulls it in. Oh, watch out. number eight now on the night. The struggle is real. He's been way off with this shot. A little bit late. Damn. Yeah. 30 19. Now I'm here still leading comfortably. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. What's going on here? Back to Booker. Who's not being covered? Oh. Down to five on the shot clock. Yes. Loose ball foul called on 35. Bead chipper. Damn right he chipped at me. Outside launches it. That one doesn't go. Here's Eubanks. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And there's the three second call. This one on the defense. And he shows the focus there. He nails the technical. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Here's Davis, and the lead oh. down inside, single digits. Yeah. Davis has got his first bucket in this one. Eight points. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Over to the left wing. Starsky Canty, you're in. Here's Pragasevic. Yeah. Eight points for him. Not only is he a deadly shooter from out there, but he is towering over his defender. Adams, the pass to Eubank. Knocks it loose. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Wow. That was not a three? Uh, let's review. I'll do overhead angle. Ah, here we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, slightly above the line. Good call. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Davis. Here's Eubanks. No! Son of a... So a chance here for a three-point play. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the free throw, no good. So just the other day, Steve, the NBA now helping to create... So, uh, I think I'm going to do, like, a mini Ivy League tournament... And the winner of the Ivy League tournament will be put in my uh, Ultimate NCAA tournament, April, aka April Madness. Let's take the shot. Yes. You go, Dr Doug Isovich. The teams I'll use are Harvard, Yale, Princeton, and Dartmouth. They're all in this mod. Four team tourney. We'll be on Twitch. Here we go, three. Yeah. All about converting your opportunities. He just hit his second three of this half, third of the night. Adams, the pass to Davis. Here's Eubanks. Oh. 
better clear spot on the bench. The dragon, what does he want to do? If he continues to take shots oh, like that, yes, he is definitely going to the bench and maybe to the locker room. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Elliot Hefflinger, double zeros. Almost like bonus the put back. When you can get him. There's 38 seconds left in the third. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Davis can't get Flinger, another good play. Take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Pass to Johnson. There's 18 seconds left to play in the third. Rogicevich. Ouch. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, easy call. First trip to the line for him here. The first free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Twenty point lead for West Virginia. Booker outside. What do you want to do, Booker? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Ah, oh. not enough time. It's all good. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. Check out those J's on those dancers. Here's right the assist of the game. Decision on where to go with the ball and how about the perfect <laughs> delivery. Execution. Okay. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful. At the start of the fourth quarter, the score is West Virginia 44, Texas Tech 27. For this game to become competitive. We got Thomas. He's out there with Davis. And it's Townsend in at the two-guard spot. The shot comes out. Bennett with a rebound. A performance on the interior. The rebounding has been it's crowded here. Pass to Bolden. Three pointer. Ah. Called in by Thomas. Carries it down low. Thomas got his first basket of the night. Here's Bolden, defended by Booker. Takes the 13 footer and he nails the jump in his face. He likes the view from there. He, he's a strong mid range shooter. And with that height, he can get a clean look on any mm -hmm. shot at any time. Now, here's Thomas. Comes up empty down low. Go Bennett. And his pure defensive effort wow. changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Yes. Not Beautiful. Form in that first half, and now it looks like they're beginning to hit their stride. Here's Townsend, and he makes good on his first shot of the game. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Barber back in. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. There's the pass to Bolden. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen. Ah. And there it is on a night when he's been so efficient on the basketball. That's his first real mistake. That's right. Defense. Deep ball. Oh. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the line. Get up there, get up there. In this game, that's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Flies it from 19. That oh. shot, no good. How good one. A three-pointer off the mark. Oh, man. He hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. No, 
I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. I see double A players don't earn money. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Out to the right wing to Booker. Well, we know, Steve, the NBA looking at lowering the draft eligibility <laughs> age from 19 to 18. The one and duns would be gone. Do you like the move? I do like the move, Kevin. I would just love to have a lot of things in place for these younger guys, whether they're 18, 19, some guys at 25. Just something in place to help these guys, especially some of the things that are having problems with off the court and also financially. Have some uh, kind of third eye to be able to help these guys. And this is where the G League comes into play, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Here's Bolden. Damn, we're off way down. Six on the shot clock. They get it again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Barber pulls it in. Barber's got nine rebounds in the game. Give me that. Getting it done. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Free throw line, jump shot. Ah. White Barber. One thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Pass to Booker. Seven, six, five. Piece of it, and they the back in the game. Anti out. One forty one left in the fourth quarter. One thirty five left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Norris, finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Stevie Norris. You're watching that defensive effort right there, you wonder how much they want Now the up. They now up by 22. Plays like that one. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Oh, dude. Inside, here's Goodwin, and he converts the way up. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Assist from number 12. Here's Bolden. Pass to Norris. Tries from 16. The shot, no good. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. And the wing jumper up on. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Oh, you got to be kidding. Here come the third stringers. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Townsend. Off on the layup. And the way they have controlled Barbara on glass, fire. this game, really impressive. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm-hmm. 30 mm -hmm. seconds left mm -hmm. in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Back to Harrington. Pulls it from the elbow. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Oh. Kicks it to Hudson. From deep. And so the road team gets the W in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no one. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, 
Greg Anthony and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.